Now, what's the difference between wet and dry macular generation? It's a great question. So wet macular generation is an advancement of dry macular generation. Dry macular generation is brought about by the presence of a substance called drusen. Drusen is mostly cholesterol, a little bit of protein, mostly fat. What it is, is it accumulates under the retina in the macula area. And what happens is it prevents the light rays from hitting the retina in the right spot. So the vision can be done, become distorted. It can be wavy. We have these different types of visual distortions that different people experience. Now, if dry macular generation persists over time, and what happens is there's a reduction of blood flow to the macula, to the retina because of this, and what happens is the eye needs oxygen right? Needs food, needs oxygen. So when there's these deprivations and the eyes are suffering and starving, the body tries to grow new blood vessels in the attempt to feed and oxygenate the tissue. The retina is the highest oxygen consuming tissue in the body. It needs a lot of oxygen, needs a lot of fuel to function. So what we offer in our clinic is both treatments for wet type and dry type and the advancement called geographic atrophy. So dry macular generation, we help prevent the progression to wet macular generation. Even if you have wet macular generation, we can still help you. And of course, reduce the tendency to geographic atrophy, which is late stage macular generation where the cells die and scar over. So we can offer a tremendous amount of help for both wet and dry macular generation.